Hey, we are here with Nico Renu and the cast of Bricks and the Bitch. Bricks and the Bitch, what a great title. Nico, tell us, what is your, your film about? Uh, our film is about uh, a woman who's kind of trapped in a seedy and illegal underground fight club, and the only way to get out is to fight the only person that she refuses to harm, uh, which happens to be her girlfriend and lover. Uh, so it's kind of a, an emotionally driven but dark little action film. And, and is this one of your first? How, how many films have you made? Tell us a little uh, bit about you. Sure, sure. This is uh, my third short film, and um, I've been directing, I guess, like full time for almost about two years now. Uh, I worked in development here in Los Angeles for a while. Um, but uh, yeah, I've always been a writer and a filmmaker since I was a toddler, basically. Was there inspiration behind Bricks and the Bit? These two are mostly the inspiration. Uh, these are both very extremely talented actors. How, how do you guys feel about being the inspiration behind this horror movie? Pretty solid. Pretty solid. I'll take it. <laughs> totally on board. Uh, and is this your first time all working together? Yes, it's my first time working with Nico and Dre, um, but I believe you two knew each other from Emerson from before, yeah? Yeah, Nico and I knew each other at Emerson College, okay. and we had kind of uh, stuck our toes in collaborating before, but this was my first time working with him as an actor-director relationship. And actually, I'm just not remembering that I also worked with Nico on Magic Maddie, which was the project that he had go to Project Greenlight. Got it. You were on Project Greenlight. I was. I, I'm on this season of Project Greenlight, the first episode, season four, the season that Jason Mann uh, won, who's an incredible filmmaker. Uh, but yeah, I was one of the uh, final ten finalists. We have to watch out for you now. We're in the presence of a celebrity. <laughs> uh, Jason is the celebrity. We're just, no. Uh, no, it was a really great experience, and uh, it, was, it taught me a lot about filmmaking, honestly, so it was uh, cool. Tell me, uh, what was your reaction when you got your acceptance to La Femme Film Festival? <laughs> I'm very stoked about being involved in La Femme Film Festival. Um, I live in Los Angeles, and it's a festival I'd heard of before, and I'm also a feminist filmmaker, and I just, I love everything this festival stands for, so I'm happy to be here. You are a male feminist filmmaker. That's that's interesting. Tell me, tell me, why do you define yourself as a feminist filmmaker? I think sometimes the word feminism gets a little misunderstood. Feminism is really just about equality between all genders. It's not about like, you know, women trying to surpass men in any way. It's really about understanding that we're, we're all created equal and there should be equal pay and equal opportunity. Um, which I believe in firmly. And so that's part of the reason I made this film, which was really about female empowerment. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm excited to be screening it to the La Femme audience. And where can we, where can we find um, Bricks and the Bitch if we want to watch it? Do you guys know? Right? right now, the film festival. <laughs> of course, that's why we're here. It's doing, yeah, it's doing the film festival circuit, and until then, it's being kept private. Okay, okay, and later more information can be found? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you can find us on Facebook. That's the best way to access all of our information, just Bricks and the Bitch short film at Facebook. Um, you can find me at nicoreno.com, and uh, I can point you in the direction of our talented cast and crew. Uh, but for now, we're playing the festival circuit um, before we release it publicly. I have, I have one last question. Do they know why you called it Bricks and the Bitch? Uh, How it came up? Do, do you? I don't know. <laughs> so, so theories. Why, why did Nico call this film Bricks and the Bitch? Uh, I think it's a way to go ahead and challenge social norms. Bitch is a word that most people don't want to associate with women, and yet we took it to a whole new level. So, yeah, we're, we're stronger for it. That's an awesome answer. It's actually interesting that you bring that up because initially when I had to tell my family that my next, you know, greatest project <laughs> is one titled Bricks and the Bitch. That could be an issue. At first it felt a little awkward, but I also believe in, you know, the fact that you give word power is mm. what gives the word power. And once you strip that away, it's just another word. And I've become very accustomed to saying I'm Bricks and the Bitch and I play the bitch and I couldn't be more proud. So <laughs> I like your line. I think you're selling it well. <laughs> The real story, Nico. The real story. Why Bricks in the Bitch? Uh, it's kind of both of those combined. One is, uh, you know, it is it is an icebreaker and a catchy kind of conversation starter, and I wanted a title that was kind of like eye-catching. And also, I think one of the other things that inspired the film was the idea of the word bitch and kind of taking a word that is maybe sometimes derogatory or can be used kind of like against a woman in particular and to kind of make that a little bit more empowering. And there's moments in the film where people are chanting her name, which is like her, it's like her pseudonym, her 
fight name, if you will. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to kind of mix that feeling of like this, this something that feels a little bit um, almost like uncomfortable and like it's an insult, but at the same time, it's, it's very empowering, kind of moving and gives her strength. Uh, and I just wanted to, yeah, see how that would play if you kind of merge the lines between those two things. It's interesting. I knew there had to be an interesting story behind it. Thank you for sharing with us and thank you for all being here with oh, us you. today. Yeah. Go check thank out you. Bricks and the Bitch. You bet.